For 90-year-old Zhou Siyu, ping pong is much more than a pastime. It's a passion. She practices every afternoon. And it's been this way for a year and a half. Jo now seems to move like a pro. Her mother says ping pong is what she was born to do. She always wants to keep playing after the train sessions. She's even refused to go home because she's that into it. D10 sports school is filled with students just like Jo. She's actually considered a late bloomer in the sport. Most kids here start training when they're four or five, but Jo didn't begin until she was eight. At first she was learning to play the violin, but she said it was boring. At the time, I occasionally played ping pong with the neighbors, and she was totally intrigued. So I asked her cousin where she could play ping pong, and she knew one coach here. So then she started training. It's a rigorous regime, but Joe's mother says she needs it if she's going to become China's next ping pong superstar. Zhongguo Tuan was the first. He won the world singles title back in 1959, becoming China's first world champion in any sport. And ever since, many young Chinese have shared a common dream to follow in his footsteps. Over the years, ping pong tables began popping up everywhere all over China, in parks, apartment common areas, and schoolyards. It's a favorite way of many students, workers, and retirees to spend their spare time competing against each other on the tables. And contests for all sorts of levels are held across the country. Zhang Xiaoguang has been coaching children to play ping pong for more than 30 years. Parents want their children to learn how to play ping pong to help improve their agility, speed and coordination. They also want their kids to exercise to stay healthy. For us, it's a chance to identify the kids who have the potential to become future talents for China. Many of Zhang's students have gone on to join China's national team. He says Zhou Siyu has potential. Zhou Siyu has a good sense of where the ball will land. Her movements are coordinated, and her speed of attack is fast. But it will take even more practice for Zhou to make it to the next level. Zhou, though, isn't intimidated. She says she wants to play even more. She has the basic skills now, but she has to play in real matches. It's important in her training going forward. Going forward means coming to a place like this, where practice becomes even more intense. China has thousands of athletic academies that provide both intensive sports training and academic education for children. But an elite sports school like this one in Shanghai chooses their students selectively through rigorous auditions. The students train almost year-round, five hours a day, six times a week. Seven-time world ping pong singles champion Cao Yanhua established this school, which bears her name in 1992. Having won 56 major titles at home and abroad, she knows how to rise to the occasion. <laughs> Graduates from her academy have also become international sensations like Xu Xing, currently ranked one of the best in the world. Every year, nearly 200 students apply to be admitted to the school, but only 50 get in. The students in our schools have to work harder than others, from primary school to middle school to high school. They spend their childhood and adolescence here practicing and studying. I'm a mother. I know how difficult it can be for a child. But in our school, the students keep practicing no matter what difficulties they encounter. 14 years old Xu Wanghan was one of the few students talented enough to make the cut. 
We have to train from 3 until 8.30 every day. I also have lots of homework. But seeing if and how students can handle the pressure helps how identify the ones who have the best shot at becoming future stars. Many players often succumb to the pressure of competition. Not everyone can be the world champion. I care most about the future of the students who can't win the top prizes. And to be honest, most of them can't. But I hope students in our school can take the values that we teach them through ping pong, and when they grow up, they can use what they've learned in their everyday lives. Values such as self-discipline, dedication, and giving 100% at all they do. I might be disappointed if I can't reach my goal, but it's fine for me because I know I had fought hard for it. When I feel down, I come here and look at the medals that I've already won, and that encourages me. But when I'm doing well, I look at these, but they're from my past. For now, Xu Wanghen is looking ahead and training hard for a spot on China's national team. And Zhou Siyu's passion continues to grow, a bold ambition to become the pride of her country. But in order to be that, she'll have to earn it, one ping pong point at a time. For Assignment Asia, I'm Fei Ye.